Samel. Uh, good morning. Uh, I'm Maryam Samel, uh, Fiki Ahmed. I'm assistant professor at the University of Carthage uh, at the National School of, of Architecture and Urban Planning. I'm here to speak about the hologram project, with the, which is a cooperation project between Italy and Tunisia. Uh, the hologram project aims at harmonizing the opportunities related to the new guidelines in the management of archaeological Mediterranean resources and the development of network of experiences. A, a multidisciplinary team formed of archaeologists, architects, computer scientists work together in order to highlight the Tunisian and Sicilian cultural heritage by using new technology. This paper aims at, present, at presenting my contribution into this project, first of, of all by teaching digital archaeology at the Tourist Association and by doing photo modeling and 3D modeling of artifacts from Carthage and the Carthaginian world and web mapping. This is my planned presentation. In my, my presentation, I will begin by the first part, which is about teaching digital archaeology with data acquisition, data processing, data structuring, and then the 3D course with objects and monuments, uh, the choice of objects and of monuments in the Carthaginian world, photo modeling of objects, statues, web mapping, and web mapping. Nine students took part into this uh, into this training. Nine, seven in master degree in cultural heritage at the University of Humanities in Tunisia. One PhD student in art history from the Louvre School. One PhD student in history from University La Manuba in Tunisia. Data acquisition on the field. The course has been extracted from my PhD in archaeology obtained at the University Paris 1 Pontéon Sorbonne and with the laboratory map and uh, the laboratory air scan in, uh, in uh, 2014. Uh, the data acquisition on the field uh, used uh, uh, presented on a theoretical uh, type with total station, which is uh, the most used in Tunisia. But because we don't have 3D scanner laser, we, we have a scanner laser, 3G scanner laser, but he 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 not used by the team Tunisian, but there the the, the other uh, European uh, teams uh, use 3D scanner laser in Tunisia. I participate in a, a, an experience with the laboratory map that with they uh, came with the laser scanner and the helicopter in order to do the survey of the Roman theater of Uzna in Tunisia. So this is the scanning uh, with the Roman theater in Tunisia, the, the first picture, and the, the, the second picture is uh, the, the processing of the data with uh, the topography and the level curves extracted from the point cloud. Another example. It's the same example, but another step in the work with the with the the scanning and the the photograph the low attitude aerial photography was superposed to the point cloud in the point cloud processing. Once we acquire data, then we have to process it. In the process, I am interested in 3D modeling, photo modeling using image modeler, photo modeling using R3G, one to the catch or restitution of archaeological hypothesis. 
Then in the in the uh, 3G restitution in the 3G representation in 3G modeling of architecture, this is an example which has been presented to the students with the scanner laser with the uh, uh, with the cloud point cloud processing and the 3D modeling and the photo modeling. Once we have acquired and processed data, we need to structure it into a site arborescence. This is an example of a data structuring in a relational database with the description of model of Roman theater in the platform Theatrum. And this is well, it is, it's not, it not have been developed but uh, it's uh, uh, to explain the principles to, uh, to organize data. And uh, we have sheets about the decomposition of the monument. His, his, this uh, platform is about the theaters. And uh, we, have, uh, we have data about uh, point clouds, a two-dimensional uh, plan, uh, uh, and photo modeling and chronology, which is important in the digital description of the, of the monument. This is an example of student work using uh, uh, one such CG catch. Uh, it's uh, it's um, photo modeling of statues. Another example of student work uh, that use uh, uh, the free software WordPress in order to organize the, their IGs. The student prepared presentation about a thematic course on types of statutory models in Carthage, the historical certification from Carthage the seating of the Punic port, enhancement of objects and handicrafts of Carthage. The Carthage site, this is uh, the second part of my presentation, it's about the city course. The Carthage is a site, or, a site among the UNESCO World Heritage since 1979. The specialists of Carthage agree that Carthage entered history as an independent power during the 6th century before Christ, then before Christ, then began a long series of wars that stopped with the Roman conquest of society in 241 before Christ. During this war, Carthage realized the interest to establish itself firmly on the African continent. Archaeologists in the project choose, have chosen 50 objects uh, that, pre, that, are, uh, that will be presented in the platform of the hologram project. Uh, uh, These uh, 50 objects will be described in the platform. The choice was made according to interest objects, according to the interest of the object in the Carthaginian civilization object, which we can, and uh, uh, I precise to the archaeologists to choose objects that we can turn all around uh, and 360 degrees uh, in order to do the photo modeling. Most objects were taken out from the originally display case in the museum. The first one is this one, is this Punic inscription. It relates information on the economical life, the role of individuals in the equipment of the city, especially in the road infrastructure and dating in the third century before Christ. Other objects, archaeological that testify the region and beliefs of, Carthagin of Carthaginians, such as the Baal Amon statue, the statue of Stanit, and the, the stead of the Sphinx. The, uh, the world of the dead, with the sacrifices of the priests 
uh, Phoenix priest and the sacred figures of the priest and man mask, which are objects of the Carthaginian world. In architecture, we have other uh, monuments. They are like this city of the Birsa Hill with with date with uh, a certification with the Punic period and then the Roman period. This is uh, in the project also. It's a, a house of aristocratic family in the Roman period. It's in Carthage. It's named Ville of the Vieri. The the war and trade with the Punic port and with the stairs, all those objects are in the platform. And then we have uh, the Antonina bath uh, in Carthage. Well, uh, I presented the objects and the monuments when I'm presenting the technical, uh, the techniques used in the project. Uh, this is a state of the art. Uh, when I was a PhD student in uh, in France, there, uh, the, this project was uh, 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 in the map laboratory with uh, a PhD student at Studer de School and Livio De Luca, who works uh, on the uh, with the scanner Minolta. They uh, scan objects and they do the restitution of the cluster of. Saint Guillaume le Désert. This is an example. Another example is with this paper uh, with the scanner laser 3G uh, with uh, uh, in the, in the Arctic uh, MH in, uh, in a museum. This is uh, I try to, to work with one to three D cuts in the in the theater of Udna in order to uh, to do the survey of architectural elements in, uh, in, on the theater of Uzna using one to three D catch. The results when we, we, we have worked on the in the museum of Carthage and in the museum of Bardot in Tunisia, uh, we we uh, used a digital camera Olympus. Uh, Olympus, because, uh, and this is uh, the result. This uh, result is very interesting, important for us because it's a best practice with a low cost. Because only with uh, 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 six photos, we succeed to have the entire monument. Uh, excuse me, the entire statue with uh, the details and. And we can then upload it into the digital platform using the OBG format. Another example of 3D modeling using one to three catch with only a, a phone, HTC. Uh, we can scan, we can uh, f take photos of, I mean, of uh, this ta goddess Tanit, and uh, and we can upload it in the platform. Other results, bottle vase, man mask, all of those uh, results show that with uh, uh, it's, it's simple because uh, one student helped me in this work and she, she doesn't manipulate this technique uh, uh, before, but uh, she succeeded at working very well and it's easy and uh, uh, it's, uh, it's uh, Details and we have the complex shape of the object. This is uh, the map uh, in uh, uh, we, um, a society uh, named uh, NG Maghreb worked uh, uh, with us on the project, and the maps uh, uh, they have maps with Google Earth, and they have their own maps. They prepare their own maps, and we have the location of each object, the photo, and we have the description and the bibliography. A description with the characteristic, the provenance, and the exhibition site, the dimensions, the materials. Each object is located, and uh, there is videos of objects, 
and the description come as I said this uh, prepared by scientific archaeologists. The statue is introduced, the 3D model is introduced into the platform and uh, uploaded and uh, we can move all around and manipulate it in 3D. And on the phone, we can, people can use it on the phone and touch the screen. Well, and there is, the project continues with other monuments. In order to conclude, this is a, a project which the aim is to enhancement of archaeological heritage. We, as I want to insist that with a low cost uh, techniques in photo, to, in, to photo modeling, we succeeded to have good results but we want to develop other results, other techniques, and work to, with other uh, uh, people in order to have other projects. Prob probably we will have prob hologram too. Uh, I want to thank the, uh, the Cultural Agency Tunisia for the, and the Tourist Association for granting me the authorization to edit because the project is still at the moment, but it will be online. Thank you very much.